You cannot state with enough adjectives and platitudes how good of a job John Lester has done here tonight. To walk out on that mound in Cleveland, his first major league start back from the road of recovery, to know that his parents had flown in for that, uh, it, it was a, a very, very special day for the Lester family, and not only John, but certainly everyone in the Red Sox organization. Swing and a miss. To see us finish out a World Series title with him as a starting pitcher, uh, you know, th those are things that you, you, know, you can't script. And, and, it, and it's somewhat of a storybook ending to 2007. But I think what it did, it, it set the stage for John's career to really take take off in, in the years following that. There's a lot of attention drawn to, you know, the prostate cancers, the breast cancer awareness, and, and all that for adults. Um, there's not a lot for kids. So we really wanted to get something out there that that had kind of a little punch at the end and we could get a, we could get a point across and, and try to really raise the awareness of, of pediatric cancer. John partnered up with the Pediatric Cancer Research Foundation uh, about three years ago and last year in 2012 we launched the Never Quit platform across the country. Green Monster's a beast. I fought and beat cancer. Now it's time to fight for the kids. Each ball represents a child diagnosed with cancer. We travel across the country to the parks where um, John is playing and when he's not pitching that night we bring some kids down to the field on batting practice and we get them tickets and they have a whole night at the stadium and we give them the never quit balls and we just keep reminding the kids never quit. The teams have been great as far as hosting us and, and hosting these kids and getting them out to the game and getting tickets and and um, so it's, it's been it's been a good thing for us to, to build and it's fun. How was the game today? Was How, it hard? Was it hard? Yeah it was hard but you know it was I think, it, I think it helps you later, you know? But once it's over, nothing else holds you down, you know? Yeah? It's hard? Hard for you? No, it's easy for you, right? You're strong. Yeah? Good. <laughs> I like it, man. I like it. You want to take a picture? It's beyond encouraging. It's uh, definitely giving him the strength, giving him... Uh, that momentum, that push that he needs to actually beat cancer. It's a fight and it's a fight of our life and uh, he knows that it's a big fight. And when he sees other uh, adults who have actually gone through this, gone through it and beat it, and they're looking healthy and strong and they got muscles and they're doing all kinds of fun things, it is beyond motivational. Beyond motivational. Doesn't get any better than this. You meet a kid like that, just some of the stuff that he would say and um, you know, like I said, it made it made it made it definitely made my month to meet him, um, you know. And he gave me a gave me a bracelet for him, and you know, um, wrote his name on my glove. And you know, he, he's just he, he he's one of those kids that you, you meet, and he kind of he kind of sticks with you. And uh, you know, it was, it was it was definitely a pleasure to meet him. Everybody's different, you know. There's some guys that want to be role models, and other guys that that just want to be a baseball player, you know. And or a basketball player or whatever. Um, they don't want that responsibility. Um, you know, I, I think in the position that we're in, I, I feel like you don't really have that choice. Everything kind of gets better with age. You know, you, you figure things out. Um, you start to understand yourself, uh, settling down, being a being a husband first and then being a father next and, and kind of figuring out where priorities are in your life and kind of understanding what people expect of you and want of you and um, accepting that and then you know doing what you can from there. Lester has been outstanding. 